Good morning and welcome to the morning show with Angel and Tina and our fabulous in studio guests, our virtual studio guests with us. Tina, how are you doing today? Hey, fabulous. Thursday after or Thursday morning. I always think like it's Friday. I, my weeks go by so fast. I woke up this morning. I'm like, oh, it's Friday. And then I went, oh, wait, it's just Thursday. It's just Thursday. But, isn't you? It's just Thursday. Just Thursday. But yesterday, so a lot of you guys have been following my my shoulder injury. <laughs> my well, you, how can we? Because she comes to the studio with this big giant fluff, fluffy pillow. You can't help but notice, like, what's going on there, Missy? And she like moves like I know, right? I'm like, like oh, oh. <laughs> and I I get a couple people, you know, they text. They're like are you okay? Cause you look hurt on the show. You're not your bubbly self. So I haven't been my bubbly self. I mean, I try to be bubbly, but for the four, full hour, it's kind of hard when you're in pain. So those of you who know, know I tore my rotator cuff. Well, I went to the ER yesterday and lo and behold, and I, so I hadn't gone to the actual doctor. I just got to the chiropractor who said, I think you tore your rotator cuff. So I went to the ER yesterday and lo and behold, I did tear my rotator cuff. And I guess there's like a, there's like a one, two and a three and I'm a one and a half. So a three, you need surgery. Okay. But a one or a two, you don't need surgery. And you're a one and a half. And I'm a one and a half. And okay. they, the doctor said, she said, um, it's a very long, extensive recovery. And she mm. said, this is probably one of the most painful injuries anyone could have and I went oh, great no. <laughs> oh did, did does anybody know how she how you ripped it like how did you hurt it in the first place I still to this day do not know I'm a side sleeper and I sleep on this side yeah but so about three and a half months ago remember I was like my shoulder kind of hurts yeah. And then like it just kept getting worse and worse and like if I jolt my arm like really fast I'm like, oh, like a shooting pain all the way down, like almost to the point where I'm crying. Like that's how painful it is. And I can tolerate pain pretty good, but this is pretty painful. So I got some narcotics. I'm not on them right now, <laughs> but I did take them last night. I did get like seven hours of sleep, not good sleep, but seven hours. And they gave me this like little sling, which is like a string almost. So I ordered a cute one on Amazon, not a cute one, but a a more padded one on Amazon. So probably all this furniture moving and water skiing and parasailing maybe wasn't all that like a good idea for you. Maybe possibly wasn't a possibly a good idea, right? So, and then like I, it's just it's very hard. So try to tie your arm to your body and only use one arm for like one whole day, and you will see what my day is like. And do it in the shower too. Like but it might Tina, be a little TMI, but, but, but if Tina, you want to use one arm, it's very hard. <laughs> you have, you're going to have to really like let it recover because yeah. otherwise the, the, the length of time will be longer. Well, she said the length of time for a normal rotator cuff tear is six months to a year. Six months to year. Okay, so in our studio, our virtual studio with us today, we have Nicolette and, and Dr. Jeffrey Fannin. Uh, have you ever torn, Jeffrey, have you ever torn a rotator cuff or had something yeah, like actually this? I have. Years ago when I, I liked to play uh, softball and played on a, a tournament team, and one time I was trying to stretch a double into a triple and sliding into third, and my, my hand hit the base and it jammed my shoulder and I tore my rotator cuff. So was it, it was painful, right? Yeah, very painful. Hey, but you and have a cool story. Yeah. You're like, I was running into a face and I was trying to hit a triple run. I'm like, I have no idea how I did this. <laughs> yeah, so I know how I did it and I, I can still feel it today. You were talking about sleeping on your side and, and I can relate to that because now that I'm older, you know, it, it's starting to affect me. So. I'm having to do some of those exercises again in order because it, it calcifies, you know, the uh, in the rotator cuff. So you have to break that calcification off. And how did you do that? Back. Doing the exercises and. Oh, yeah. I was just telling Angel, she was telling me I have to do like this kind of exercise, you know, but yeah. with this arm. 
Um, and then I gotta, I gotta do this and then I yeah. gotta, you know, do this. So somebody said to me, um, Connie Ponturo is, um, she helped, is, she helped me do some, uh, meditation and yoga the other day yeah. for my shoulder. So she's sending me a, um, a band that stretches and then she sent me a ball. Mm. So thank you, Connie. I love you. <laughs> well, it is but nice I am have... getting all these like text messages saying, Tina, I tore my rotator cuff too. And this is what I did. So I'm everybody. getting all these people helping me and giving me their opinions <laughs> and their, yeah. their tips she's and got tips. Everybody. Yeah. She's got a lot, a lot of love and a lot of support. Nicolette, have you ever done that? Have you ever torn? Anything never. Like I've never broken, torn, nothing. <laughs> I'm very safe, I guess. But then again, you said you weren't doing anything either. So was, I've never broken a bone. I've broken a couple fingers when I was cheerleading. Um, in high school, but that was it. I've never broken anything. Well, it is. Here I am have she, a torn rotator cuff. I poor girl. Like the a poor sports girl. injury. Went and had some some therapy done. What did you have? Like some cupping and some needling and I some that, acupuncture. That a, that and then after that, ago. she was just a wreck. Right? She was. Ooh, it was. I was in pain. That. He scraped me. For those of you who have ever been like scraped, that he uses this like metal thing and he scrapes you and. He did some acupuncture and put some needling in there and did some TENS unit stuff. And he was like massaging it and getting in there. And I'm like, oh, I was crying the next day. I couldn't, I couldn't do nothing, nothing. No, but, but you know, it, the pain and the pain is your body's way of saying, pay attention. Right? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, you know, there's only so many ways your body can talk to you. Mm -hmm. And pain is, is one of those communication tools. So good for you to go and get it checked out. Okay. Nice so to I'm gonna, I have my sling. I didn't wear it on show because, you know, I have my, look, I have my arm propped up. It's on there, but you know, the little, the little I had to go get my medication last night at CVS and I had my thing on there and the pharmacist goes torn rotator cuff. And I went, how do you, how do you know that? Wow. <laughs> and he's like, oh, you're going to be in pain. I'm like, thank you. Oh, thank you. Appreciate oh. it. <laughs> it's like having to wear like a sign I remember one time um I it was like a a church uh, theater group did like a little skit or something but everybody like had a sign like what our baggage was right like what we were carrying around like everybody had like walked around with this sign on yourself like so you knew what people's issues were when you saw them um oh, coming oh I wouldn't want that that's, but that's like what it was. Like, that's what right? that reminded me of. Oh, oh, torn rotator cuff. Oh, right? oh, you're one of those. You're a, you're a heavy sleeper. You're a wild sleeper. Yeah, right. You're a wild sleeper. You're a, you must've gotten that from a sports injury. No. Hmm. However, huh. when I went to the ER, which was a funny thing, oh. the whole experience. So for those of you guys who are following coronavirus and all this kind of stuff, it was a whole, a whole, a whole issue. So you had to go in one door and you had to get screened by the security guard. Have you, do you have a fever? Do you feel feverish? Do you have aches? Um, have you been around people with Corona? No, no, no. Okay. You can go forward. And then you got to the next station and they had gloves and masks. And of course you had to go in there with your mask and stuff. And they had a, it was, it was like, they were in like a little bubble and there, they, and then they had to go through another screening. Um, have you left the country? Have you been around anybody with coronavirus? Have you tested positive? Have you tested negative? When's the last time you took a test? Like all these things. I'm like, I haven't even left my house. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time. And they were like, oh my God, you poor thing. And then she was like, okay, you can go to the next station. So then the next station, you get triaged and they ask you even more extensive questions. They take in your temperature and you have a, a thermometer thing that you have to keep with you. And I have my blood pressure cuff that it's like a, a throwaway blood pressure cuff that they gave me. They're like, here you go. Don't, don't, you have to take don't it. Don't give it back. We don't want don't it, back. it back. Oh, interesting. That's and a so lot. I have it with me. And I'm like, what am I supposed to do with this? So I had to take it with me, but they got me in and out so quickly. Um, but because I didn't have nobody in there, I went by myself. Everybody else had to stay outside. But because I was in so much pain, they asked me, you know, what my pain level was. They got me in and out, but everyone else had to stay outside. There was like 50 people outside in the parking lot. In the parking lot? But waiting. So oh. I guess they already got triaged mm. and they were waiting for the doctor or whoever. And you have to wait outside. Well, you know, they it make you 50, wait outside. At least 50 people out there. 
at the like I went to the nail salon and you have to wait outside for your appointment right it's like if there's too many people in there they don't let you in and but I can't imagine waiting outside in the emergency room right like waiting in the parking lot yeah um I mean and there was like older people out there and you know hello I'm in Charlotte North Carolina and it's like 150 thousand degrees here with the humidity but I'm like thank god but I got in and out in like two hours and you know was everything was was good but it was just the poor doctor comes in and she says you know we're glad you have answers right now we know we can all send her all like all sorts of therapy and support and ideas but mostly you need to not use your arm yeah I think you think you do your your exercises try to not use an arm I think that I have what I have on my head because what you need is like a little friend that wants to come and stay with you and be your live-in nurse. No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> Look Not at you, me. Troublemaker. <laughs> Not me, but I have somebody in mind. I know you do. <laughs> somebody who makes her blush. Right? I'm sure. I'm sure he would love that. <laughs> All right. Well. Oh okay. So. <laughs> The saga of Tina's shoulder can, continues on. We do want to connect with our fabulous guests. Both of them have some very exciting things happening in their world this week uh, that they have been pulling together. Uh, Dr. Jeffrey Fannin, tell us what you've been up to the last few weeks. Oh my gosh. It's just <laughs> unbelievable of getting you know my book launched you know, and uh, all together and getting it up there and having a bunch of problems. We got those straightened out and then got it up there. And you uh, even told me this, that once it gets up there, you know, it's such a relief and such a, uh, you feel very differently than you're going through that. All of the uh, challenges of of the jumping over all these hurdles to get there. And and I did, and and it felt uh, really good to get that up there because this, this was years in the making, and, and I was trying to explain to somebody, uh, they said, well, how long has it actually been? And, and there are parts of it I can go back to, uh, I think the, the earnest beginning was back in 2008, and traveling around the world and doing brain maps on people, and all the things that I write about uh, in the book, uh, and experiences that I've had with people, it's... Um, it really is a journey. And so I take people on the journey with this book. So when you're writing, you're writing this book, there are challenges, right? There, there are those hurdles that you come across and those things are you're like, oh my God, what happened? Why is this happening? Why is this happening? You start yeah. panicking and it comes through, you hit number one bestseller and you're like, Oh, it was all worth it, right? Like right. it was so, all worth it. So, um, you know, Jeffrey's book just, you know, was just released on Amazon just a couple of days ago. And of course, you know, the whole process, and we'll talk about a little bit of that. Um, when he started saying, I want to publish a book, and we started compiling all the content together, he didn't have one book. He had over 500 pages. So we split it into uh, two volumes so he has published two books at the same time not just one book but two books at the same time and he's going to release it he's going to release it in about in a couple of weeks at an official event and we'll talk about that but just yesterday we were doing the press release because it's now it's now available on Amazon and when I went to Amazon to grab the photo of the cover I saw the book was already sitting on the bestseller list yeah, it's that, so that exciting was, though, right? Like a really wonderful shock, you know. And Angel texts me, and and I'm going, "Oh my gosh, that can't be true, really," you know. And and then uh, she a picture of that, and so I I can't tell you how elated I was. I never thought that I would feel that way. You hope that you're going to get there and get on the bestseller list, but then to actually do it and see proof, living proof that it actually happened. I I can't tell you what that feels like. It's wonderful. Well, I'm super excited for you. I'm super excited. And I know, right, we walk, I walk authors through this regularly. And I know the trepidation and the concern and and they underestimate, right? How fast that's gonna happen and that it's really gonna happen. And then when it does happen, they question you, right? Like I even did, I'm like, 
I said, can you get on here real quick? Because it says number one, but I don't really think it's number one. And she's like, hold on a second. She goes, Tina, if it says number one, it's number one. I'm like, but it can't be. <laughs> I, I know. I, I, Tina, I understand what you're saying because that's how I felt. It, that, that's not real, right? Yeah. And I, I said, I think I'm looking at this wrong. <laughs> Uh, there's things that we did, right? Um, you know, that whole process of, of getting your book and figuring it out and setting it up for sale on the Amazon store, th there's a very strategic process that we went through that took us a very long time. And had we not done the research in our homework, it wouldn't have worked like that, but the work paid off. It did. Yeah. And I think that uh, really goes back to you, Angel, and, and the work that we did and figuring out this and that, because I never would have figured that out on my own. You know, and I, I, I'm a neuroscientist. You know, I can fix your brain, you know, but getting a bestseller. An angel can't do that. She can't fix your brain. So you always have to stay in your lane, right? Yeah, and hire exactly. people who know what they're doing. And, and you really do. You really need the help and the guidance of somebody that's professional and knows how to do this. Over the years, I can't tell you how many times I had a you know, people would try to say, well, do this and do that. And, and you pay them a bunch of money or something. And all of a sudden you find out this person doesn't know what they're talking about, you know, and so you go one after another after another. So I'm very, very appreciative to be associated with it with you and Angel and, you know, the guidance that I've gotten and, you know, because it really makes a huge difference. It, it really does. And you, when you do go through those struggles and everyone does, right? I mean, every author knows those hurdles that you have to go to. And I don't know how many times Angel was like, Tina, don't worry, Tina, it's okay. It's going to happen. And I'm like, but, so but, but, so but. <laughs> <laughs> well, Nicolette, right now, I got an email from Nicolette this morning, somebody else who is trusting the process and following the process. Give us a little heads up about what you've been working on for the last few months. Sure. So um, kind of like uh, the gentleman was saying, I've had this uh, book in the works for the longest time. And um, when I went to a, a small uh, business expo, I met you and went into your class, the master class that you had. And that helped me think to myself, OK, it's time. OK, just you know, you have this work here, put it together, like Angel says, and just put it out there. And there were kinks, as was said, it was, it wasn't super difficult, because, you know, your process and the systematic way that you placed it in your um, masterclass was kind of, was easy to follow, really. But it was just because it's unfamiliar, as was said. And it was new, because I'm a, um, uh, a nurse. I'm a nurse practitioner. So it's like, that's not my forte either. Right. So, um, but when you follow directions and you know that the person who's done it has gotten results. So just trust it, you know what I mean? Just go with faith. And so now the book is done. It, um, my launch date is the first of September, but it is out there. And I'm just super excited that I do have a work online that people can take that people can use. It's just a great feeling. Oh, I'm super excited. I did. I got the, the email this morning and it is a system that we follow. And you got to um, trust the process, right? Just mm -hmm. like you always tell us, trust the process. However, being the person on both sides, I do understand <laughs> that trusting the process, you, you doubt the process a lot of the time. But now writing my second book, I'm like, this is good. I'm okay. This is going to happen. This is going to happen. <laughs> But that first time is kind of scary. So I'm so excited that both of you guys have hit that bestseller. And now you well, know. So they're, yeah, so they're just in the process, Tina. Like they're just like getting started. But both of their books were just um, were just um, released onto Amazon. And even in, so when we talk about this media mastery system for organically getting on the bestseller list, it organically hits, but we still run a run a publicity campaign and a marketing campaign to create that energy and that buzz and that excitement. We don't want it to just have something that kind of happens in the night. We want to create all the marketing and, and, and publicity around it. And, and so today they're kicking off their publicity tour 
with the Angel and Tina Morty show. <laughs> I know. I'm so excited. Okay. So um, I'm going to read uh, Dr. Jeffrey's bio. We'll talk about um, your background and who you are and um, encourage people to go and check out the book and follow you and all that really fun stuff. And so Jeffrey Fannin is a neuroscientist. I'm just super, super excited about this. Uh, he holds a PhD in psychology, an MBA, and a Bachelor of Science degree in mass communications. He's worked measuring and training the brain for over 25 years. And somehow this man trusted me. I'm just like floored. <laughs> uh, he works with the complex practice of mapping and analyzing the brain and then training the brain for optimal health and performance. He was part of a research team at Arizona State University researching neuroscience and leadership. Their studies have involved work at the United States Military Academy at West Point. Their work related to neuroscience and leadership has been taught at Arizona State University, has been featured in the Wall Street Journal, Fox News, Business Week, London Financial Times, and in Singapore's Weekend Edition, BBC Radio, and more. His two-volume book set, Commanding the Power of Thought, has just been released on Amazon. The foreword, written by best-selling author Greg Reed, here in our virtual studio, Dr. Jeffrey Fan, and we're so glad you're here. Oh, thank you so much. It's really a privilege to be on your show and uh, and to work with you because um, you really know what you're doing. <laughs> so. well, you know what you're doing when it comes to when it comes to all of this brain work so yeah. let's talk about the book commanding but commanding the power of thought you've said you've been I mean you've I was really surprised you hadn't published a book up until now Jeffrey well it had it, been on the, on the back shelf and uh, working with that so a lot of I've had many many opportunities to work with a number of people who are quite prominent in the world out there. And they just kind of showed up in my world and then we would do some work together. And, and so that's what a lot of the book is about is uh, the work that I have done, but involving the reader to understand that there are laws of the universe that we don't even know are affecting us every day and how to utilize those and how to align your frequencies and you know how to uh, use uh, the law of attraction and how that works and uh, that we're all connected together. So uh, I, I try to make the science very readable. And it took me a lot of years to explain and explain and explain because I'm the kind of guy, you, you ask me what time it is and I'll tell you how to build a watch. I love that you have that explanation and he, and he puts that out right in the beginning. So, you know, you know who you're talking to and you know, you know what you're dealing with, but he knows how to build the watch, which is, which is pretty impressive. Um, yeah, that's and so you and I don't know how to do. <laughs> that is another thing, right? The list would be long, Tina, yeah. if we were like, what else don't we know, right? Um, so tell us what your vision is for the book and how we're going to launch it and release it and where it's all going to go. Oh, you mean you're not going to do that? <laughs> yeah. So um, uh, you were talking about Greg Reed that wrote the uh, forward to my book. Well, I've known Greg for, for many, many years. And uh, he had me on his program, uh, Secret Knock. Uh, I've been on there uh, multiple times. And he would have me do this thing. And, and write, I write about it in the book. And I call it stage magic or uh, brain uh, magic from the stage. And we would take a, a person, they would pick somebody out of the audience and we would uh, put a cap on there, be about uh, 300 people at one of these things. And then I would change their subconscious belief and we would project it up on a 30 foot screen and they could watch it happen, boom, just like that. And then we would talk about it, you know? And so uh, I've known Greg for many, many years. So uh, when it came time to writing the forward and I had a number of options uh, that I could have gone to, but decided I wanted to do that because uh, recently, Greg called me and asked me to be on the, the secret knock that's supposed to happen on the, the uh, 2nd of uh, September, but the state of California is not allowing uh, that to happen, uh, any indoor events. So we're doing it virtually online, and then we'll do a, a live event in uh, March. So that kind of started the ball rolling. He just kind of called me out of the blue and say, hey, are you interested in doing this? So then, then I said, oh, you bet, you know, so... Uh, one thing led to another, and uh, as part of the show, uh, his assistant, uh, Shannon, uh, 
it drove over from San Diego to where I live here in Phoenix and um, and we did her brain map and videotaped some things that are going to be on the program. And, and at, at the uh, same time, um, uh, I've been working the last couple of years in working with a group called Viber Vision. And uh, these are, are people that put bandages over their eyes and a, a blindfold on top of that. And you can drop colored bean bags in their hand as fast as you can. They'll tell you what color it is or read from a book, tell you what pictures are there, you know, or... Uh, with, so with, they can't see a thing. They can't right. see anything. They cannot, They're completely they blindfolded, and, and yet they, they can tell you what color. Sense. Yeah. Right. This is in. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah. So they they ended up being in this movie uh, called Superhuman, making the uh, invisible visible. Well, uh, uh, Nate had talked with uh, the uh, producer of the movie, so she got a hold of me, and I watched the movie. And this is an incredible movie, you know. And what's amazing about it is everything I write about in my books is in the movie. And I didn't even know about this movie. So it was pretty amazing. So we talked and uh, now they're going to have me on, the, on September 26th involved with two other scientists that were in the movie, uh, people who I know their work and, and have followed them for years. And we're gonna be online and talking about these amazing things. So the research that I've been doing with the vibrovision and how they use their brain and how getting into higher states of consciousness and doing meditation and all this stuff. So it's really kind of fun to see this come together. And, um, and it, uh, it's just happening, you know, and things like that happen in my world all the time. So anyways. I, I so interesting that you can put a cap on, change the person's subconscious and you can immediately see it in their brain waves. Yeah, absolutely. Wow. Yeah. To me, a lot of people uh, feel like it's a parlor trick, but it's it's just simple physics. That's all, you know, and biology. So uh, people can do that, and I do that with the people I work with online all the time. I have a, a program that that I you know, go through and measure, you know, what their cells are doing, what their uh, brain is doing, and so forth. And one of the things we will often work with is subconscious beliefs. Uh, so when we have uh, uh, an event and we put some meaning to that event and then we attach an emotion to that, there is a, a, um, a burst of acetylcholine that binds that all together. And so it's kind of like, you know, when you hear a song and you have memories that take you way back when, it's the same thing. And so from the third trimester of uh, our inception, all the way up to age seven or eight, we are taking in all of this stuff uh, of how the world works and whether it's a good place or a bad place and so on. And a subconscious belief is nothing more than a thought you have over and over and over again. It gets bound into one of these cognitions and then gets triggered. The problem is as we get older, we don't change some of those subconscious mm -hmm. beliefs. And so we literally have a five-year-old driving the train here, you know, and so we <laughs> There's a way, and, and I think we can recognize that in some people, <laughs> yeah, exactly. especially when you're on the freeway. The thing that, that I use a lot, and it's a you're only young once, but you can be immature forever. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I could get my tagline. So, Jeffrey, the books, right? Um, Commanding the Power of Thoughts, they're now on on Amazon, and you're going to be releasing them at this fabulous event with Greg Reed, yes. Right. Yes. That's always been the plan to, to do that. And so uh, we're moving along and I want it to move faster, but, you know, we're only a few days away, actually, of this happening. So it's getting very exciting for me that all of these years of work and traveling around the world and doing literally thousands of brain maps and consultations with people and how this all works is now coming to fruition. And it's so exciting because that's been kind of a, a lifelong dream of mine to do that. And, and now here we are at the event, you know, it, it's out it, and now we're talking, launching it. And that's really the fun part of all of this is being able to do that. And it's like giving birth to a, a child and just watching it be born and then grow and develop. And, you know, now I'm starting to hear back from friends of mine that bought the book and and are liking it. And that, that's, a, that's a key ingredient. It, you know, your ego kind of kicks in. Is, are people gonna start uh, sending notes to me saying, 
that book just sucks, you know. <laughs> Who do you think you are publishing something like that? Well, you know, you know you you're up there when you start getting haters, right? You know yeah, you have made well, it yeah. big when you start getting haters. <laughs> but they are the accolades for the book. Everybody is loving the book. It puts it in everyday language that we can all relate to and understand. And you know, and it's been it, this is one of those things that it's an asset. You're creating a legacy. And, and now your reach will be far further beyond than, you know, just the people that are hearing you right in front of you. It can travel beyond, beyond you, Jeffrey. And I'm super excited that, that not one, but two books are now published. Yeah, I was your planning my third one on, on about the Viber Vision experience. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the book's Commanding the Power of Thought. Um, Jeffrey, how do you want people to connect with you? Well, you can go to my website, uh, thoughtgenius.com, and you can get information. So for everybody watching, I have a special gift for you out there, and you can download the five keys to commanding the power of thought. And uh, that's my special gift to everybody, you know, for tuning in. Uh, but it's at thoughtgenius.com. Uh, if you Google me or YouTube me, there's a bunch of interviews out there. So I'm not hard to find. Well, and I love he's been working with Melanie to put together the automation side on the back side. So yeah, he's got yeah. an incredible team uh, it, it putting really this is. together. He's doing a great job. I love that. I love that. Well, um, Nicolette, we're going to talk about your your journey, your book as well. But I want to just take a quick little commercial break and let people know about our sponsors of the Angel and Tina Morning Show because without our fabulous guests, without our fabulous sponsors, we would not be. Right? We would not be able to do all the fabulous stuff that we get to do every day. So first of all, I want to say thank you uh, to both of you for being our guests today. You really make this show. You really make this show happen every single day. And, and this is our 104th show. Is we it? just celebrated our 100th episode on Friday with the a and Awards. And we had over 57 awards that we were able to give out. And this is our 104th episode. So we would not be able to do this without you guys who are watching, without our audience, without our loyal supporters and loyal fans out there. So thank you guys so much. Um, so the Angel and Tina Morning Show is sponsored by Bliss by the Lake Boutique. They are our clothing sponsor and you can find them online. Check them out. They do fashion shows and virtual, virtual trunk shows and they ship to anywhere in the country. Zondra TV Network. We are globally streamed, uh, digitally syndicated across seven streaming channels. You can find them, find us on the Zondra TV Network on most of your online streaming platforms that you guys are already um, have access to. They are the premier award-winning network where small business entrepreneurs can tell their story on local, national, and global TV. So if you've got a podcast, you've got content, you could take it up a level and don't just post them on YouTube, start your own television show. You can schedule a discovery call by visiting beonztv.com. That's B-E-O-N-Z-T-V.com to start your affordable global marketing experience today. And then if you just feel a little too busy and overwhelmed to get it all done, well, you don't have to do it. You can hire a virtual assistant. Sonic VA allows you to hire um, hire an assistant so you can focus on what you do best and hire for all the rest. Go to sonicva.com, S-O-N-I-C-V-A.com. And when you tell them you heard about them on the Angel and Tina Morning Show, they're going to give you a 10% discount off your first 40 hours of service. That's sonicva.com, beyondztv.com. And then of course, List by the Lake Boutique. We're so grateful for them. Um, all right, so Miss Nicolette, darling, I'm so excited. Um, I got your email this morning. I'm watching you trust the process. Her book is how to beat a rigged school system. Right? I mean, you know, I mean, it's like like salacious right there. She's like, ooh, I'm gonna go <laughs> and get a little controversial, right? She says it's a self help book on how you can navigate through the unfair ed educational systems in America and still succeed because schools continue to be segregated across the states. Minority students lack the information needed to obtain the knowledge for academic success and therefore remain underachieved. The problem has per per 
blah, so sorry, perpetuated a cycle of poverty and illiteracy in many Black and Latino fam families, most notably, to help put an end to the problem of failing schools in poverty-stricken neighborhoods and around the country. This book gives clear instructions to students and parents alike. A variety of topics are covered, and it's a 13 steps fail proof study plan that expounds upon students in any educational level to improve their test scores. They start off with captivating stories of her own experience as a student and how she overcame. She says the stories are intriguing to say the least, and the lessons are inspiring beyond words. And her favorite quote in the book is It's not your fault, fault if you were not taught, but it is your fault if you never learn. Nicolette, I'm so excited oh. to have you here. This is a Thank big you. deal for you. This is something that's been on your yes. heart to get out into mm -hmm. the world for a long time. Yes, well, especially it has. Like it... now, putting something like this out there where a lot of the school systems are all online now. Yes, yes, definitely. And it, it was an opportune moment for me. But as you say, um, Angel, it's been on my heart for a very long time. Um, I am a product of inner city schools and I see the issues that were had. Uh, my teachers, how many times they said, we don't have the resources, we can't do this, we can't do that. But being one of the brighter ones, I was exposed to other schools, other programs where I was able to meet other students in the same grade level, but who were much brighter because they had the opportunities that I did not have. So I was able to see the discrepancy between the resources and the problems in the schools. And when I went to nursing school, that's where I was like, you know, how do I do this? What do I do? I don't have the information that I need. I'm far behind. And that's where the 13 step method came into play. And when I spoke to other people who were doing well, they were doing the same thing. And when I came out of nursing school, I started a tutoring um, program uh, started tutoring business and my students were thriving. I was tutoring in nursing school. They were thriving. So I was like, this thing works. Why not write about it? I wrote it who knows how many years ago, but I was so scared. Like, who am I? And I'm not a teacher. I don't know if it's going to happen. And again, like I said, I went to the EXO, heard you speak. I was like, why not me? I have answers. Here it goes, world. I'm so proud of you for having faith, right? Stepping up and taking action, yeah. um, being very brave to put your to put your thoughts into print, right? You can't, nobody mm -hmm. can ever come back and say, well, I didn't say that. And they're like, yeah, you did. It's like right here, right? It's uh -huh. I think one of the most vulnerable ways that we can mm -hmm. um, put ourselves in front of the world. Like Jeffrey was saying, like, you know, waiting for somebody to say, you know, I hate it. It's stupid. I don't like it. Um, and but so the fact that you put yourself out there and now you are launching in a yeah. very big way, Nicolette, um, tell me your vision and how you want how you want to uh, get this book out into the world. To be honest, my vision is to have this book in every high school um, because my I, I'm honing in mostly on high school students because that is where their minds are like gearing towards what um, career I want. Is it possible? And that's where most students do drop out when they find out that they cannot make it. And they, they're not really always realizing that it's not their fault. So I need them to realize that it's not always your fault, um, but we can work towards getting you where you need to be. So that's really my goal, to get this book in every high school and to have parents, you know, those who are um, also Caribbean parents, because I, I have a, a, you know, a Caribbean, I'm from Haiti, I'm Haitian. So a lot of them who come into the, um, America, does, they do not know the system. They don't understand. So they just go with the flow. And that's not the way to go because you need information. You need to know where to put your child, what schools are better. And then the whole system, it's not, it's not being fixed. And if it is not fast enough for our generation. So I need it to be just heard about, read about, and that people who really need it, they can get inspired and do better. Has anybody, have you gotten some feedback from some folks who have read it already? Yes, I have. Um, and I actually was um, surprised because I had written it geared mostly towards my minorities, but I have other people who are reading it who are not minorities. And they're like, this can help me with my, I had one person said my um, ADHD son, you know, the, because um, how to learn was is important, you know, and I need people to, uh, to see that it's not just about minorities or non-minorities, but it's about learning. And that's what a lot of people are getting out of it. Like, um, I remember even going to um, 
um, a seminar and I had one gentleman who was doing a, uh, he, he, he wasn't in school and he was trying to learn how to do coding. And he was like, um, you know, it helped me because like, I, I didn't know what I was doing wrong. The inter- I, it wasn't coming across and I, I followed the steps and it, it works. Like it's, it, it was just great to know that a lot of different people are reading it and they're having this great feedback. Yeah. I love it. Well, it is available on Amazon. Of course, we're encouraging everybody to go and bookmark the page so that you see it there and then go and buy the book on September 1st. Yes? Yes. Yes. All right. And so the book is, oh shoot, How to Beat a Rigged School System. And Nicolette, spell your last name for everybody. Sure. It's P as in Paul, I-A-U, B as in boy, E-R, T as in Tom. Okay. All right. And, how and do you Nicolette, people are asking about this quote that you said that was your favorite quote. What was that quote again? Um, it's you. Um, it's not your fault if you were not taught, but it is your fault if you never learn. Mm. Was that your quote or did somebody else? That's my quote. <laughs> mm. That's like juicy. It. That's an asset right there. Right? Yeah. That's an absolute asset. And I think that, uh, you know, you have, we have no idea how impactful we really are in the world. Cause if we did, we would all behave very differently. Mm. Um, I think, you know, we underestimate our impact on others, our effect, you know, it's, it's very similar to the, to the movie. It's a small world, right? Is that, mm-hmm. was that it? Right. Where we had no idea how many Pay lives, forward. right. Or how many lives we've touched and how many lives we are touching. Yeah. And, but when you publish a book and you become a published author and you start to see other people reading your book and sharing your words and your thoughts. You start to get a little glimpse into that. In fact, this morning, Tina received a photo. Somebody did their own, their photo shoot, their lifestyle photo shoot for some headshots. And one of the props that Anna used in her photo shoot was Tina's book, her, her gratitude journal. And so, I mean, it's little things like that that you don't. And so being a published author, I think brings to light um, and shows you some of the ways that you are you are touching other people and and making a big difference in in the world. And so both Jeffrey and Nicolette, um, very impactful books. Very, I mean, life changing, life altering yeah. um, stories that you are putting out in into this space. So I just want to congratulate both of you for entering into you know this new milestone, right? Elevating and stepping because there's so many people out in the world. Who say I've always wanted to write a book. I've got all this stuff. I've always thought about it. But you know what? You two did it. You finished yeah. it. And so I just want to applaud both of you. Here for just a second mm-hmm. uh, about Nicolette's book. Um, I had a call yesterday from somebody that I had done a brain map on their son uh, 10 years ago. And they need some things. To get. He uh, was just accepted to college and he's very nervous about uh, going and things like that. So I have a, a number of people that I work with but I want to introduce them to Nicolette's book and uh, some of these people that I'm working with and how they learn. And I think it's, it's really going to be very, very impactful, you know, and, and I'm so glad to be on this show today because I wouldn't have known about this, but now I can put that out there to some other people that I know that can use that book. And even though we are sort of working in different fields, they mm-hmm. overlap a little bit. And I work a lot with people who are really struggling, whether they're kids or adults or somewhere in between of learning how to learn. And and I, so I think Mm -hmm. it's going to be huge. Oh, absolutely. Definitely. And I, and thank you for saying that if I may also interject, because one of the things that I say that is in relation to what you teach is the brain cannot help but learn. Like, so it it kind of helps people become inspired. Like, you know, you don't have to be afraid. It's not, it's not even you. You're not even doing anything. It's your brain that's doing it all. But it is a process and we have to teach it how to absorb, where to classify the information so that it becomes easier to retrieve when we need it. But it's not, it's it's not you. It's doing it on its own. So that's super great. I definitely would love that. Yeah, you're really adding something very, very important to this whole dynamic of knowing and learning and using your brain and all of that sort of thing that I think uh, we're moving into this new era where people can have that information, can follow things that you've done, things that you have found work and don't work. And so I think your work is, is very inspiring. 
I love the collaboration. Thank Once so again, <laughs> Once <laughs> again on the Angel and Tina Morning Show, we are the media matchmakers. <laughs> we are, right? You know, the, 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 the couples, the duo, the, the people that we bring in, like we don't necessarily um, uh, orchestrate that, right? It's, um, mm -hmm. you know, it's, there's something much bigger in the universe happening that brings the right people together. And we do get to play matchmaker. <laughs> I would love to see some collaboration, some stage swapping uh, between the two of you with what you guys are doing and love seeing that just develop right before our very eyes. So congratulations to both of you. Mm -hmm. So um, Nicolette, some um, final tips and words of wisdom that you would like to leave with our audience and something else, anything else that you'd like to share before, before we end this episode today? Sure, sure. So actually the first thing I was gonna say was about the fact that, you know, their brain cannot help but learn. So just stick to it, keep practicing it um, and it will sink in. Um, the second thing I, you know, tell my students is, you know, like seriously, when you're doing something, if you're reading something, don't move on until you fully understand it because that's something that we do. Oh, I'll get it later. I'll understand it eventually, but no, just focus on what you're doing. Make sure you study it, make sure you review it. Don't move on until you um, grasp the idea. And just, you know, everything is possible if you give it time. Time will tell all. So I always tell people just be patient and stick to it and you will accomplish the greatest things that you've ever imagined. What great advice, right, to tell people that you don't have to just, you know, barrel through it, no. like take your time and learn it and figure it out. And, and so you understand it and, and absorb think, it, right? Um, what we end up doing, right, is like, I don't get it. And so I go for it. I don't get it. I don't get it. And then yeah. it's just self-defeating, right? Why even try? Because I'm yes. not going to. It compiles. Yes. Mm -hmm. So very, very excellent advice. And then, um, call to action, what you want people to do, where you want people to go today. Sure. Uh, so definitely um, go to Amazon and um, seek out the book. I, I'm hoping that everyone does wait till September 1st so that I can um, join our friend here in our bestseller list. Uh, <laughs> but you're welcome to it. You can reach me. I am on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. If you put um, in my name, Nicolette Piobert, again, last name, P-I-A-U-B-E-R-T. It's French, Piobert, Nicolette. N I C O L E T T E. You will find me, contact me, call me, whatever. I'm open to whoever because I'm here to help. My thing is, I'm here to serve. So I'm available. Well, thank you so much for coming on today. Um, it's been. Thank you for having me. Yeah. And, and watching you just, just, ah, I'm just so <laughs> pleased. I'm just so pleased. I'm just like, thank just you like so much. You're the best. You really are. <laughs> All right, Jeffrey, how about you? Anything She's like else a you proud to... mama. She's like, I do. I do. I feel like that little proud I'm mama. So proud. <laughs> my little ducklings out in the world. I, you know, like it's all you. It's like, this is all your brilliance, your action, your, like you, this is all you. I just get to, I just kind of just get to be like that little yeah. mama that pushes. Well, you well, I would that. disagree with that. You know, it's not just you holding back. Hmm. Uh, you know, we each have, uh, when we write a book or something like that, put it out there uh, about uh, the topic and so forth. But you really need a team of people yeah. who can guide you, you know. And so things like with what Nicolette was saying with her book and working with people and learning and with you and Tina and the, 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 uh, the expertise that you have in guiding people, I mean, that, that is such a huge help, you know, for somebody like us that, right. you know, we, we have our own specialty, but knowing how to publish a book, I might want to do that, but without the guidance, guidance, you know, to get it where it needs to be and, you know, people who help you along the path, that's very, very important. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, you know, you guys provide a very, very valuable service you know, for people to guide them and to direct them, to help them, to answer their questions, you know, to uh, console them when they're scared out of their wits, you know, yes. which we all are. And so Isn't I- Is it ever gonna? Is it ever gonna? <laughs> yeah, exactly. So it, it, you. you make it fun and enjoyable because yes. you Doable. offer the right kind of guidance and you also know how to uh, shut up and make us learn you know, do it on your own, you know, things like that. So 
Uh, you, and then you, she turns into that eagle and she says, you're ready. <laughs> yeah, and then they just shove you. <laughs> oh, well, thank Into you. the limelight. Thank you so much. You guys, yeah. you guys are just awesome. You've been, both of you, just, just a dream to work with. So Jeffrey, thoughts, um, final things you want to make sure that you share today? Yeah, I, I want to uh, uh, admonish people to uh, uh, kind of look at things like if they want to know what's on their subconscious belief window, look at your behavior, uh, because our behavior is driven by that. And uh, if you're doing something that you, you know, I don't want to do this and I want to do something else, it's possible to change that. And people say, well, I am the way I am. And that's, you know, that's who I am. Well, you can change that. You know, and we were built as human beings to make that change. And so don't let those things hold you back or be fearful of, you know, and, and I was watching a, a thing on Einstein this morning and he was the same way in the household he grew up in. It was like not acceptable to just give up, to just stop and not finish what you start. And so that's what I would admonish people is, you know, uh, look at your dream, decide what it is that you want and go after it. And if there are things that get in your way, pay attention to those things because you have to know what you don't want in order to choose what you do want. Oh, I love that. And most people quit right before they hit the big, you know, that big milestone. They quit. They stop. They turn back. Well, that's a Greg Reed thing, right? He wrote Three Feet from Gold with Sharon Lecter. And that's exactly yes. what that's about, yeah. right? Yeah, that's how I actually got to meet them. You know, and uh, Sharon and Greg and I have been good friends and John Ashraf. And we were all at that event in uh, Anaheim, uh, three feet from gold, you know. And so I was backstage, uh, you know, and talking with uh, Greg and uh, John Ashraf. And they've had this debate going on. Are, are leaders uh, made or are they born? And so we were having, I threw the neuroscience in there and going back and forth. I don't think we've ever resolved that question just yet. You know, but uh, it was great to uh, to meet some of these people and uh, be involved with with that. And in fact, you know, uh, with Sharon Lecter, I had an opportunity to go to her ranch when she was uh, in the process of writing uh, Outwitting the Devil, mm -hmm. and, and which was really, really great. And she let me read that. So for a couple of days when I, we were up there and uh, Mark Victor Hansen and his girlfriend uh, at the time, Crystal, who is now his wife, proposed. So I have a video of us all singing karaoke on New Year's Eve. So, um, wow. Yeah. Some little but blackmail you videos. Know who you're gonna meet or the things that you're going to do that not only enrich your own life, but uh, you, you are able to impact what they do and what they say. And over the years, you just kind of keep that magic alive. Mm. And if I just want to add, if I could add just one thing, and one of the reasons like you were saying um, about, you know, not giving up and like, just know that if you don't give up, if you do pursue your success, your goal and whatever God has deemed for you to accomplish, it, it's important. You have a purpose, right? And if you give up, you'll never fulfill that purpose. And there's so many people who are counting on just you. Right, because I have people I connect with. You have people you have you connect with, and we sometimes cannot connect with the same people. So if you give up, if you give in, if you never accomplish it, there are so many people that God has deemed for you to reach that you won't. Right. Mm. So definitely, definitely keep pursuing. Thank you, um, Angel, for allowing me to have that mindset of don't give up. You can do it. It might be a little hard, but just keep pushing. Yeah. <laughs> well, absolutely. There's only one guaranteed way to fail, and that is to quit. Yes. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And, and, and just don't quit, right? Yes, and yeah. I love it. Well, I'm super excited. Jeffrey, give your call to action one more time, please. Uh, yeah, go to my website, thoughtgenius.com. Uh, and uh, you can also buy my book on Amazon, uh, Commanding the Power of Thought. There's volume one, volume two, 520 pages of pure gold. Pure gold. I love it. I love it. And it is already uh hit to the bestseller list so we're pretty excited about that and it it's barely touched the surface so um thank you both of you congratulations on your success thank you for sharing that with us today you are the bright start 
to our day. I'm Angel Tussie. I am your media matchmaker. If you've got a book inside of you and you know that if it got out into the world, you would make an even bigger impact. Let's make sure that we publish that. Let's go and share your juicy goodness with the world. I've got a media starter kit to help, just to help you get some brainstorming and, and some ideas flowing on how you can create publicity and exposure for your book, your business, or your brand. You can download it at makeyourbigimpact.com. That's makeyourbigimpact.com, a fabulous little media starter kit. And if you've got stages and you're wanting to get booked, go and join our media matchmaker group called Need a Guest. You can go to needaguest.com and it'll take you right to our Facebook group. So if you've got stages and you need a guest, or if you want to get booked, it's a great little matchmaking Facebook group, needaguest.com. And it oh, does oh, 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 sorry. So sorry. Um, shoot. Uh, Jeffrey talked about Sharon Lecter and we've been talking about assets tomorrow is our Sharon, uh, Sharon Lecter assets are sexy show up strong event. I want to invite you all to join us. We have complimentary tickets. Thanks to all of our fabulous sponsors who uh, make that event possible. You can go to assets are sexy.com assets are sexy.com and let's rise up and leverage our assets to create even more successful businesses. It's all all headlined by the world's financial literacy expert, Sharon Lecter. So go to assetsaresexy.com, download your or reserve your free tickets and join us tomorrow from 12 to 6 p.m. Pacific time. So what is that? Three, three to nine, three to nine Eastern. So 12 to six Pacific, which is where Sharon is in the Pacific time zone. Uh, but we run everything here in the Eastern time zone, but grab your tickets. They're complimentary. Would love to see you there. Linda Clemens, and oh, I love oh, her. oh, who was the, who was our other shoot? I forgot. Fabulous. Like we have a whole lineup <laughs> of, from yesterday. You'll find out <laughs> incredible, incredible speakers. And of course, Sharon Lecter. So sign up today at assets are sexy.com. Well, I love that. I'm going to be there definitely. Cause I absolutely adore Sharon Lecter and I adore Linda Clemens. She's been a good friend of mine for a long, long, long time. Um, I'm Tina Torres, your client retention expert, also known as the gratitude specialist. And if you are struggling with building your audience or finding the right clients or even retaining those clients, I have a complimentary guide that will help you grow your audience organically online, connect and nurture those relationships authentically, and then take those relationships and turn them into paying clients. You can grab that guide when you text the word connection to 26786. That is a connection to 26786. Thank you guys all for watching and for being our loyal fans. We are Angel and Tina on the Angel and Tina Morning Show, where we come to you live every weekday morning. And thank you. And we try to be a bright start to your day. We will see you guys tomorrow, Friday. Don't forget, Tuesday or tomorrow's Assets Are Sexy Tuesday. Is it Tuesday? It's is our Tuesday. Connect Summit. And that is 12 to 6 Eastern time too. So mark your calendars Friday and Tuesday be able to learn and um, implement some amazing strategies from all of these great speakers. We will see you guys tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye. Yeah. Bye.